Beep, 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 coming home from work is better than being at work. Oh, hey, intro bot. Did you do the intro? What the hell? Intro bot, did you only pay half the electricity bill again? Intro bot? Are you okay? Hey, wh what's going on with IntroBot? He's acting really weird. I'm getting worried. Just tell me what happened. Oh my god. You let him listen to Walk the Moon? What have you done? Well, how do you like that for a change of pace? That was a weird intro. But anyway, here we are, morning E-type time here in Denver. I brought the Lumix G9 out, as you know by now, probably that this is definitely the camera I use for daytime street stuff because I'm able to use the silent shutter because the sensor readout is so fast. I picked up this little 17 mil Olympus F1.8 for about 300 bucks on KEH, super cheap. It's a pretty old lens. I think it's like eight years old or something is when it was released. Um, so it's not like amazingly sharp or technical or anything, but it does have this nice little manual focus clutch that you can pull out, which makes it really nice for street. I uh, actually kind of changed up my style a little bit for this video, trying to do some like shooting from the hip type stuff, which I never really do. Um, a lot of these I set up the composition, but a lot of the other ones I just sort of was experimenting with that style of shooting because this lens is so nice and small. I'm used to going out with much bigger lenses, where it was finally a little bit warmer here in Denver and there wasn't a bunch of goddamn snow everywhere. Also, let me say, if you like Walk the Moon, I apologize for the intro to this video. I do think it's very impressive that they're able to make such popular music while also having severe brain damage. And I do think it's very irresponsible for them to create and release this music knowing what it can do to the human brain when it's listened to. But anyway, don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden somewhere deep in this video. This was the first little spot that caught my eye, this nice strip of light going through this construction-y area. And right here, something totally unexpected happened. This little girl looked up at me and then tripped and ate some shit on the ground. And I was able to catch it all. She was okay. She just lost a shoe. Lost a shoe. sort of waiting for the right person to come through and this guy with all this cool colorful shit came through this cool colorful area and I think it made for a really pleasing composition especially from shooting down low like I did. I think one of the things most difficult about shooting this new style to me, as far as hip shooting goes, was making sure that my focus was in the right spot. Even on Micro Four Thirds at f4 or f5.6, it can still be pretty tricky to make sure it's in the right spot depending on where your subject is. And I actually think I nailed it on this one.
sat here for a few minutes hoping that somebody would come through this nice oddly symmetrical scene here with this cut of diagonal light but nobody really ever came so i just sort of snapped the photo and moved on i probably didn't need to shoot this one from the hip but i did anyway and as a result it is out of focus something I didn't really think about when shooting this video and that's that you're not really going to be able to see a lot of the subjects if I'm shooting from the hip unless you're really paying attention to the corners of the screen. So just keep that in mind as we go on. I don't know that I'm going to always shoot like this but it is definitely fun to try some new things. Again, you might not really be able to see what's going on, but I saw this dude in the hat and I decided to sort of double back around and with the burst mode on the G9, I just grabbed a bunch of images as he walked past me and it is a little out of focus and maybe there's some rolling shutter though, I can't really tell. So I think it was a pretty decent image. Definitely a crap photo, but I definitely also framed it up just right as I was coming around the corner. You guys definitely didn't see her, but she was emptying this mop bucket and I just grabbed a nice little shot. An example of failed framing, though, I think it kind of turned out nicer than what I was going for. He ended up in the very edge of the screen here, but his face was right over the alley, so there was some really nice contrast, even though it's not a typical composition. Noticed all this nice zebra e light being sprayed all over the intersection here and then I also noticed this nice building on the corner and I really like to use corner buildings like this as a background because they look so pleasing this guy in his suit came along and just at the perfect second he looked up at the light and then back down and I was able to capture this image which I definitely think is one of my favorites of the day Over here I noticed this guy smoking this analog cigarette, so I sat around and waited for him to blow out a little plume of smoke, and then I walked by and captured the image. Probably wasn't worth it. I sat here trying to get somebody in these triangles of light, though I knew that they weren't going to be all that strong. Right as I was giving up, somebody came out of the door though, and while it didn't have the triangle in there, I do kind of like the way that he's bathed in light with pure black behind him. Playing with some light and shadow here, I don't think that this is a particularly good composition. I think it's quite poopy, but I tried anyway. And then over here, I tried to grab somebody's head as a reflection so they just look like a floating head monster, but uh, I don't know that it really worked anyway. This one is probably the only random quick hip shot that I actually liked this day, and I, I really like this one. I like how he's looking at his phone, I like the angle. I straightened it just a little bit, but I also like that water bottle that he has sitting there in between those two pipes.
really close on this one. And what I like about it is actually that you can see the other person he's talking to in the corner of the frame. It's almost like a movie sort of composition, even though it's very crooked and a weird angle. These are the last couple here. I actually really like this one. It's, uh, it's crooked, again, because I shot from the hip. It's really hard to keep it straight, but sometimes I kind of like that Dutch angle, depending on how close you are to the subject. But I really like this one. You can really see the squint in his face as he's trying to read the screen there. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. Sorry I haven't been uploading too much lately. I've just been very uninspired during the winter time. But as it warms up, again, as I keep saying, I'll be out shooting a lot more. And I really want to get back out into nature as well. So keep an eye open for that content coming to uh, whatever you watch this on near you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.